What is going on guys? Today we have the second informed Di Maria play in review coming up next. <laughs> So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing second in form Di Maria, 87 rated left wing. Uh, he was obviously his original card, 84 is a right wing. Also his UCL, um, what is it? Yeah, just a normal UCL card is 85 and is a right mid. Then he got an 86 left mid first in form and then now he has an 87 second in form left wing. The price currently after doing this is around about 210 on the Xbox and for some reason 155 on the PlayStation. I've been absolutely gutted with with Xbox at the minute, especially today, trying to get on for absolutely ages. Um, but I've managed to get on, managed to pick him up. He's actually one that I looked at straight away because I remember he used to be one of these players that was in most teams to be honest and now I don't see him as much it's nice to see that he's uh he's getting still getting some of them in form so going into some basic information of him obviously he plays for PSG and is Argentinian in the league on he has got five star week uh, five star skill moves and only two star weak foot he is left footed five foot eleven and he has got a medium defensive work rate and a high attacking work rate Overall in-game stats, he has 2,257. We're going to break some of them down. He has 88 pace with 89 acceleration, 88 sprint speed. He has 88 dribbling with 95 agility, 82 reactions, 86 ball control, 89 dribbling, and 84 composure. Passing-wise, he has 86, which leads us with 86 vision, free kick accuracy, and short pass, 82 long pass, 87 crossing, and 88 curve. And to finally finish it off, Bar from the 79 stamina this card possesses, he has got 81 shooting, which gives him 87 attacking positioning, 76 finishing, 88 shot power, 82 long shots, 82 volleys, and 77 penalties. So, what do I like about this card? What don't I like about this card? Well, looking from, if I'm just looking from a pure on the basis of them stats, I'd say realistically, I'm expecting him to be relatively fast. Relatively good at dribbling, relatively good at passing, and average at shooting. And to be honest, it's not it's not far off. To be honest, I think pace wise is sound. He's got 88 pace. That's pretty much standard now with with big players. Personally, I found it very different with cards like this after the patch. I don't know if they're still like kind of working on it, but I know obviously there was the big patch with the time finesse and everything, and people are still getting used to it. I found that. It's kind of rendered pace cards a little bit useless. I don't know if that's the shooting side of it or it's just the the slow gameplay that, that keeps going on. But we digress with that. I think pace-wise, it sound like I said. Dribbling is fantastic. Five-star skiller again. The the real letdown for that is his, is his uh, two-star weak foot. But if you're on the right-hand side and cutting in, to be honest... It's not really going to be that much of an issue. Obviously, people will like the five star, and he'll probably probably be rated down for that, which I can imagine. But the five star we uh, the five star skill moves is great, especially alongside that dribbling. The passing on this card is good. I think he's got a very nice pass. Um, crossing wise is excellent. Um, I think you can't really ask much more about that. Shooting wise, I think it's there. I think genuinely he does have a really nice shot on him. I just find, we're looking at the finishing anyway, 76 finishing, that is where it's lacking for me. It's the the clinical of him. He's got. He's definitely got there. He's got the shot. It's just being able to, to hit the target 10 out of 10 or at least 9 out of 10. He struggles with just making sure it's going in. I, and again, I don't know if this is the patch and maybe I'm getting used to it. But for me, the few games that I, I used him with... He just struggled. He had he had a few shots. I think in this clip he, we managed to rage crit someone at half time, um, and he does well. He does score technically. I class it as a goal, but it didn't count as a goal. It was an own goal by someone. But I just think that is the problem with him. He just wasn't scoring enough. He was getting the shots off, getting in the positions really, really well. Um, but I think it's probably, I'm going to put it down to the fact that the patch has just come out or the, I've only played like say five matches on this patch and I'm not used to it yet. So 
I'm not gonna da I'm not gonna downgrade his shooting because of that. I'm not gonna rate him down because I feel like this card will have good shooting, and I'll put a I think I put a sniper on him as well to put his dribbling up and his shooting. But you could put a finisher on that would be better. But for the the purpose of quickly doing this review, um, I whacked a sniper on him as I didn't have any finishers. But personally, he hasn't got much strength. Stamina wise, isn't great as well. We're looking at the 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 low 80s, the 79 ish. Um, I don't really like that. I like 80 plus at the very least. But obviously with all the subs, we've got plenty of subs we can bring on uh, in to replace him. So that's not much of an issue. Um, stamina really is just is just how much you want that card to play on. If it was Ronaldo, Messi, what have you, I want them to be on 90 minutes, 120 minutes, what have you. Di Maria, I'm okay with subbing. It's the players that look in over a mil. I'm not paying over a mil for a player that cannot make the 90. So... That, that's irrelevant for me. I think Dima is a very replaceable card. Um, and that and that's why I like this in form. Um, I think if you was going to buy someone that's worth a few mil, then you want to make sure that their stamina is high. With Dima, if he gives you the first half, gets a couple of goals, jobs are good and sub him off. But overall rating them. I kind of just side swept onto that. But overall rating for this card, I'm giving him an 8.3. So... The reasoning for this, I don't think I did his other card, so I can't even check that. Um, I like his pace, like his dribbling, like his passing. Shooting is okay. Maybe a little bit better, in my opinion, when I get used to the patch. That could be an idea of uh, going back and seeing what, what it's like after, say, like a whole weekend of this patch. But at the minute, I say I like the shooting. I don't, I'm not overtly crazy with it. If you're going to buy a left wing, it's probably one of the better ones. Obviously, if you're going to go and get a league on team, you're going to go get Neymar rather than Di Maria, especially seeing as though you're probably only a couple of hundred away from Neymar at this rate. Um, personally, that would definitely be my saving advice. But if you've only got, say, 210k to the, to the exact... Di Maria is definitely worth a pickup. His first in form is now 85k, and I can't imagine there's a huge amount of difference between them. There probably is a little bit, but for 120k, I can't see a huge amount of difference going to be between them. But there we go, 8.3. Let me know down below, have you used any version of Di Maria? What did you think about him? I thought he was okay. I didn't, didn't rate him massively, but I still think he's a very playable player. Playable player? Yeah. Playable player. So let me know down below. Make sure you give this video a like. And we'll be coming tomorrow, hopefully, with a Gomez review um, around about 4 or 5 o'clock, hopefully. And, yeah, make sure you subscribe and like. And I'll see you all again next time. Peace.